Well, as we wrap up our final few minutes with Rob on his final show, I just wanted to take a, a minute or so to say a few words. And to be honest, I don't even know where to begin. It's hard to believe that it was 10 years ago that I came in for an interview and an audition for this very position. And I just remember being um, on the side of the building parked and I was staring up at the billboard of Rob on the side of the building and just thinking, can I do this? I don't know, Rob is a huge legend um, and I really have to keep up. When I was offered the job and I started, I just remember always thinking I really had to prove myself in this position. I really had to be good and strong to be beside someone like Rob McDonald. And it did not take me long to realize that Rob is not only talented and knowledgeable and he is one rock solid journalist, he is so funny. Um, if I had a dollar for every time that I've burst out laughing because of something he said or done, I would be the one retiring a long, long time ago. All it takes for me most of the time is one look from Rob and he has me laughing and, and crying um, in tears. And fortunately for Rob, he is able to compose himself and, and I just, I cannot, I can't tell you how many times I've been at a red light laughing my head off and people are wondering, like, what's this lady doing in the next car? Um, in the 10 years that I've known Rob, um, he's kept me laughing, of course, but he has taught me so much. He's been a mentor to me. He's made me a better journalist. He's raised the bar. He's, he's made me a better reporter and just better all around. <laughs> and see what I mean? He's me laughing. Um, I hear his voice inside my head as I'm preparing for broadcasts and scripts, and I know that's not gonna change. Um, and finally, Rob is my friend, and he's been there for so much. So thank you, I'm gonna miss you, and I wish you all the best. Wow, thank you. Um, boy, I have to follow that, <laughs> and uh, wow. Okay, so it, uh, it, it, it comes down to this. I feel so very fortunate to have been able to do what I love for more than 40 years. CTV Saskatoon has been my second home since 1976. This has been my dream job. How lucky I am. I am privileged to have worked with uh, some of the best journalists you'll find anywhere. I want to thank them for putting up with my idiosyncrasies, my often over-the-top requests and demands, and for making my job so much easier. Also, a huge thanks to the people behind the scenes who get the newscast on the air. I am honored to have worked with such professionals. And thanks to everyone here at CTV for making this place so much fun. What a joy it has been to come through the door every day and be with my colleagues and my friends. I also want, want to thank Jeff O'Brien for sharing Saskatoon stories with me and you. Great times, Jeff, thank you. But most of all, I want to thank you for allowing me into your homes every night. What an honor that has been. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being there. I hope we'll still see each other on the street and in the grocery store. Those are the places I have some of the best conversations. Now, if I can just say a special thanks to my co-anchor. I am so fortunate to have been able to work with Chantelle for the last decade. And no, we're not married like many people have thought. Chantelle has pulled me out of the fire so many times. She has been my rock. I love the last minute rush before going on the air as we both took a deep breath and, and those encouraging words. Have a good show, everybody. Chantel, thank you for being there and laughing at my often stale jokes. Jeff and Pat, it has been a pleasure and an honor to share this desk with you as well. And to my former co-anchors, people like Trish and Cynthia and Tina, it has been so much fun, great memories. And one final thing, the last two weeks have been overwhelming. Thank you, thank you for all your well wishes. And to my partner, Scott, thank you so much for putting up with me. Now, uh, I think I better say goodnight before uh, before they give me the hook. Uh, long live local television, long live local television. Wow, come on in, Jeff. It's been a good ride, and you oh. know, um, it is hard to believe that oh. this is it, but yeah. you know what we always like to do when we send coworkers off? What's that? And when we're sad, we <laughs> eat cake. Wow. We eat a lot of cake. Wow. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Ah. Happy retirement. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow. Thanks, guys.
David. Thanks. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> oh, I yes, really... Yes, you can still change your mind, I think. We'll still I, eat, like, Well, yeah, well, I really wanted to hold it together till I got home tonight, but wow. And everybody said goodbye earlier today to me. <laughs> and here so they are. They're crafty. We're good at keeping secrets <laughs> when we My friend Adam's to. here. And, wow, what a wonderful send-off. Um, thanks to everybody. This, I, I just love this place. <laughs> it was just so much fun. And, uh, oh. I'm gonna miss it all. We ran out of tissue, all. sorry. Yeah, we did. Oh, I have a whole box, actually. We came prepared. Uh, we love you, we miss yeah. you. Don't be a stranger. No, um, I'm coming back to this place and just visiting, and you're gonna be so sick of me. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Good night. Bye -bye.